What is your name? What do you do? Winston Bryan, the fire inspector for the city of Charlottetown. Well, I started 26 years ago. I was a volunteer firefighter and I had the opportunity of becoming a permanent firefighter with the city. Um, in the fire service, you are always continuously to learn and uh, fire prevention and fire investigation is another field within the family of firefighting and uh, I had the opportunity to go into that position and presently uh, hold that position today. Basically, I'm on call 24-7. So, I'm always on call. Um, you never know when you're going to be called out. But uh, within the office, I'm a, an 8-4 to four person within the office. Um, in today's society, 8-4 to four is basically 6 till 7 in a, a regular day. But I'm always on call and uh, out doing my work. Best thing is out working in the community. Um, working with people, trying to improve the safety for people to uh, enjoy their lives here in the city of Charlottetown. Mm -hmm. Trying to improve the safety for, for the firefighters to protect the residents in the city. There's always investigating a fire. Um, I'm here to try to decrease fires, um, try to eliminate fires within the city. Um, by, by doing my job properly, I will succeed in that. I like to keep these trucks in the station instead of being out on the streets. It's a very enjoyable job. I love my job, but it can be stressful. Um, dealing with day-to-day -day, uh, situations, um, you know, you handle them. But you always, always remember, there's always a reward when you're trying to help someone, so that you try to cover that up with that. Money is good. Self-reward is the best. Firefighting is, a, is an open, open door to any young person. I started when I was 18, got out of high school, and I started as a volunteer. I highly recommend any male or female in this province um, to go and talk to the volunteer fire department. If they have an interest, that's the best way to learn. Mm -hmm. See if they enjoy it, then go from there. Go maybe take the course at Holland College, which is offered a firefighting course here in, on our island, and uh, go from there. Opportunity is endless. Females, it's wide open. Mm -hmm. um, we actually have here in Charlottetown, we have two females on board. Uh, crossroads across the river in Stratford, they have two females. North River, our other neighboring department, I believe at this time have three females. We, uh, in, you know what, in the fire service, there's a job for everyone. Mm -hmm. And that's what I try to tell people that I talk to. It's, it's, it's open to anyone that really wants to put the commitment, put the time into it. And uh, females, males, we all have that special touch that we can offer into an organization. And that's what I look at. An outgoing person. Um, everyone says firefighters are special people. Well, they are. They're just a community-oriented person that really wants to work in their communities that they serve. Grade 12 um, to start. Get your grade 12. Go in. Secondary education. Um, you can go and uh, take some say, take some courses at university. But are they needed? Not the firefighting service. Not saying that we're not highly educated people, but. The courses are offered for firefighters. You go to Firefighter Academy up in Summerside, and then you can go from there. You can take inspection courses, um, and when, once you're within the fire service, it's endless. There's auto extrication courses, there's fire attack courses, there's hazmat courses, um, and they're basically there for the taking, if that person's interested in taking them. In, in the city of Charlottetown, and I'll use that as an example, um, you come in, and you write an oral test, then you go and you do a physical fitness test, and then um, do an oral interview with the uh, with the chiefs. Okay. Upon completion of that and on being accepted, then you go to uh, fire school. Fire school is basically three months of theory, uh, where you sit in the classroom two nights a week and learn about firefighting. Ah, it's not much fun, but the best is yet to come. About uh, April and May, you get out and you start doing your practicals work. The stuff that you worked in the class, you take it and you apply it to the fire school where um, basically there's heat tanks and uh, confined space rescue, um, learn how to do the proper firefighting. And then you go back to your fire department. And as a volunteer, are you always on call? You're always on call. Now, you're allowed to take holidays and we have sick leave and stuff like that, but um, it's, it's, it's the dedication that you put into it.